Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys some high-end dupes and you guys know I love a good high-end look on a budget. If you're new here, welcome. I make new videos like this every single week on home decor, DIY home decor, and making your home look high-end on a budget. So if you like that, consider subscribing to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. So let's go ahead and jump into these dupes. You guys know I'm usually DIYing my high-end dupes, but there are some pieces that I just can't make, I don't have the skill set for, or the energy to do, and the time for, so I have found some really great dupes for these pieces, and these are pieces, some of them that I have in my own home, and some of them that I would be willing to invest in, and that all of them have really good reviews, so let's go ahead and get into it. So this first dupe that I found is actually one that I have in my own home and I love. It is a dupe for the Luca Iron Chandelier and this is a super popular chandelier. It goes with so many different aesthetics and styles. So this is really great for any home and I really loved it. So I did not love the $699 price tag though. So I went on the hunt for a dupe and I found this one from Wayfair and it is coming in at $269 and that is just such a great price. I love that this chandelier has that same like it's not so loopy. It's like more of a softer curve and I really love that but the downside of this one is that it's 10 inches smaller in diameter than the Pottery Barn one and for my house I really needed the size of the Pottery Barn one so then I found this other one from Overstock for $165 and it's only two inches shorter in diameter than the Pottery Barn one. So I had to jump on this one and I love the way that it looks in my home. And I'll have all of these items linked in the description box to below so make sure you guys check that out. So next up we have got this beautiful leather chair from West Elm and it is ringing in at $799 guys and this is not even real leather. This is the faux leather option, the vegan leather, but it is still so beautiful and I love the warmth that it adds to your room and I found this dupe on Wayfair for $167 and you guys it looks so similar. The colorway is just so so similar and it, you get that same nice warmth from the faux leather and the warm walnut on the wood and I just love this piece so much and think that it is definitely worth the $167 and not the $799 so definitely check this one out too. Next up you guys is this chair from Six Penny that I love so much and looks so cozy and it is ringing in at $1,299. It is probably worth all of that money <laughs> because it is just a really good quality chair but I personally don't want to shell out that much money for a chair at this time maybe you know in the future but right now that's not something that I want to do so I went on the hunt for a good dupe that also still had that same quality and the same texture that this linen material has and I found this dupe on Wayfair for $188 and this is the Madison armchair and this is Wayfair's custom upholstery line so you can choose which upholstery that you want and it's also filled with down so you still are getting that that feather fill like you would with the six penny chair but it looks like the arms are maybe a little bit wider than the six penny chair and it's not as much of a slip cover look but this still is that slip cover you can remove it wash it which with kids so important i've got to be able to wash the things that are on my furniture to keep them nice and clean so that is a really awesome find as well and then i also found this even cheaper option this one is from World Market and is $399 and it's a little bit slimmer than the one from Six Penny, but you still get that same slip cover look and it is also feather filled, which I love that feeling. It just makes your 
items feel so much more luxurious and full and you get that same nice relaxed look that you get with the six penny chair because it's the feather filled as well so if you don't need a chair that says why does the six penny chair you could get this one from old market and save a lot of money that way as well you guys know I love a good vintage inspired landscape print and I found this one actually from Chris Loves Julia over on Instagram and they have a blog and they're just so great and she did a gallery wall and I saw this print in there and I was like oh my gosh she's so cute let me look at it. No. No thank you. This print is ranging for the 16 by 13 it is $75 for the 29 by 30, 29 by 23, it is $389. So I, whenever I was doing my kitchen makeover or kitchen revamp thing, which I'll link up here, I was looking for some vintage inspired prints and I came across this one from Etsy, $5, $5. You guys it is literally the exact print like these look identical so you can buy this print from Etsy for five dollars and take it to Walgreens get it printed out and you will spend for a 16 by 20 I think it cost me eight dollars to print one out from Walgreens you can save a lot of money on this print and a lot of higher-end looking prints you can find dupes of on Etsy and you get the file and so you can print it in whatever size that you want so if you're looking for a vintage inspired print but don't want to pay the price tag then definitely check out Etsy because they've got a lot of really great finds and are so much more affordable than these higher end pieces that I would love to have in my house but I just can't spend that much money on an art piece so this is a much better option for me. Next up, we've got the Clifton coffee table from Serena and Lily, and I love this design. I love a good round edge <laughs> for a coffee table with having two littles. I just, corners don't work well in our house. So I love this design, and I love the sleek modern legs on the bottom, but that's a lot of money for a coffee table for me, and that's like the price I would maybe pay for a chair. So. I found this one from Target from the new Studio McGee line, their spring collection, for $200 and it is very similar. This one has actually been going in and out of stock, so make sure that if you want this coffee table, you go ahead and put on the notify me button so that you can be notified whenever it comes back in stock so you can get it. I'm on the list because I would like to have it and I just think that this is such a good dupe. The colorway is so similar. They both have this nice light wash tone and it's really going to bring a lot of lightness to your space and not make your living room or wherever you're putting this feel too heavy. So I love that this one is such a similar look for a lot less. $200 versus $799. So you choose. So next up is this beautiful little decor box from McGee & Co. And it is $24. And I love this piece so much. It just adds so much texture and warmth to his face. I had to include this because I found at Hobby Lobby, I, it is the same. Like, I don't understand. But... I could not find a link for it anywhere, so I'm just going to show you guys, and you guys can check it out at your local Hobby Lobby. This is literally the same box. It's got the nail heads, and it is the same. So, this is a Hobby Lobby, $17.99, whenever you get it half off, because every other week, or every two weeks, I think, they switch it to half off. So, literally... You're getting this for like nine dollars right let's have them yeah like nine dollars <laughs> compared to 24 dollars so for the accessibility of hobby lobby and the similarity like literally this has to be the same box and there's so many things that i find at hobby lobby that i'm like oh my gosh this is this piece like there's no way i don't know they are the same i don't know 
I don't know. So definitely go check out your Hobby Lobby for some high-end decor dupes because they got them. They got them. They're the same. So another high-end look that I'm loving are these glass front cabinets, these curio cabinets, I think is what they're called. They are so stunning. I love this one from McGee & Co. It is $2,999. I love it, but I can't spend that much money on it. So I found this cabinet from Ikea, the Billy cabinet with the glass front for $389. And I feel like this gives such a similar look and you can make it look even more like the McGee & Co one just by adding a backing to it. You can add some wood details, add some legs, and you can really transform this. But I think even as is, this looks so similar and gives you that same look and that same vibe of these high-end glass front cabinets that I've been seeing all over my Pinterest and I really want in my house. These would be so cute like on either side of your fireplace or as like a hutch situation in your dining or your kitchen area. I personally really want one for my kitchen area to kind of just add some more details and add furniture pieces in there. So I'm definitely going to be picking up this set from Ikea. I love this glass front detail. It's so beautiful and it's such a better price than $3,000. And obviously with this, the McGee & Co one is definitely going to be better quality than the Ikea one. But if you're just trying to get the same look and the same feel, then the Ikea one is going to give you that. But if you're going after quality, then definitely I would invest in the McGee & Co cabinet if you can afford that. If you're just trying to get that look, like I said, then you can go with the cheaper option. Next up, we've got these counter chairs from Williams Sonoma for $495 a piece. They are beautiful. I love this woven detail and that they are counter height, so they go really well with your counter if you've got like an island that's not a bar height. And I found this dupe on World Market for $189, and I think these are so similar. This is also the counter stool height, so you are getting that same height option. You get the woven detail, the wood tone is the same, and I I just think these are so beautiful and add a lot of texture and detail. I love this woven backing look. I think that it just adds so much to your space. So you don't just have like a flat back for your counter space. You've got like more detail and texture added in with the warmth of this woven detail on these. So this is a wonderful dupe for the William Sonoma counter stool option. So that wraps up this high-end dupe video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and that you are able to get the look for less that you want for your home. I don't think that because you can't afford high-end looking things that you shouldn't be able to get that look. So I am here to help you guys out. If you want more videos like this, then make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I've got lots of them already, but if you want more, make sure you turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye guys. Thank you.